Live from the north side of Chicago, Wrigley Field, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Oakland Athletics and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Justin Steele. What should we keep an eye on here? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Este Yuri Ruiz, the next to hit, takes ball one. And a pitch. That to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now, Zach Gellar. There's the strike up high. It's 0-1. Nobody out. Runner at first. Pickoff throw. And he's back in safely. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Now snap throw to first. Ruiz dives back in safely. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Rudder at first with no outs here. And a one-two. And another ball. And down on strikes he goes. One out in the top of the first. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And now the first baseman, number 49. And there's a foul ball. Here comes the old one. Runner on the goal. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. One out and a runner at second. That misses the zone. Now one and two. And that's outside. Here's the pitch. Rudder goes again. Next offering is foul back. Check on the runner. Ruiz back on a dive. Man at second. Misses outside. And the count is filled up. Brent Rooker. In the odd deck circle for the A's. Runner at second here, one gone. Popped up. Wisdom makes the grab, and there's two out.
Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. That one fouled off. And the lefty with the 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Way high there. It's a ball and two strikes. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Next offering is down low. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2-2. Fouls it back with two strikes. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch is popped up. Morrell moving under it. Brings it in for the third out. One left for Oakland. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at the friendly confines. And today's starter, number 38. Well, just a three-pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter. So always very important for him to have a good feel and command all three. Sometimes you can make that three look like four if you add or subtract a little bit of velocity on one. But, you know, one thing about it, it can be easy to get too predictable out there on the mound. So hitters are aware of that. Mixing those three pitches at all counts is going to be a big key for him in this one. And here it comes. Pete Crow Armstrong oh, stands in now, looks at that one inside. Hey. And there's the strike. And now the lefty. And now one and two. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Next oh, offering high. upstairs. It's a good take. Two and two. Stays alive. Next one now misses, and now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. So up now for Chicago, Christopher Morrell. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Singy, this kid's quite a story. Super talented. Maybe as good an arm as the Cubs have on their team defensively. One of their fastest players. He debuted at 22 years old after having played... 10 games above double-A. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Now batting Jammer Candelario. Ball. 
next pitch is outside. Yeah, and a high level of confidence. He actually called his first major league home run, told some teammates in the dugout that he was going to homer in his first at bat, went up there, he hit a 417-foot blast into the left field bleachers. Low throw, and he can't pick it. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Now it's Alexander Canario. That one's in there 0 1. Candelario leads off first with two down to the inning. Oh, and two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here's the 0 2. Ball one there. One ball, two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Second inning, set to go. Digging in for Oakland, J.J. Blade. J.J. And he deals. And ball one. And that one sliced foul. The lefty ready and a 1 1. There's a strike. One ball. Two and that oh, just man. misses. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Lawrence Butler. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The lefty, the 1 0. There's the strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. A one-two count, all he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. The one-two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Line drive to short and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. So two down now, and here is Jordan Diaz. First offering, and it just misses. Swings through that one for strike one. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. The pitch. Up and in. Now two balls and a strike. No score here in the second. In for a strike. And now two and two. He goes down looking. A's go quickly and quietly there. 
We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. So up now for Chicago, number 40. And a pitch. Ball nope. one, no Ball strikes. One. There's the strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Good Whoa. eye right there. Fouls one off. Two and two. Kicks and fires. That one just okay. misses. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. And up next for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. First offering misses the mark. Chris, dig this. Patrick Ian Cashel Wisdom. His middle name is Ian Cashel. Ian, Gaelic slash Scottish for John, named after his grandfather John at his dad's side. And then Cashel is a little village in Ireland where his mom's family is from. Nope, Next offering misses, two and one. He got to visit in 2019, saw the house where they all grew up about 45 minutes west of Galway near Roundstone on oh, Cashel great. Bay. And his daughter Claire has the same great. middle name, Cashel. The 3-1. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Now, here is Jared Young. In there for strike one. Two down, nobody on. And it's fouled away. The 0 2. That's out. And that one missing low. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. The pitch. Good eye right there. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Zips it to first. That's out number three. Cubs are down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And here's the rookie catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. And the pitch. And strike one to the catcher. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. 
Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. And a pitch. That one pushed to the left and foul. That misses. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And that's down and away. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Pulls that one foul. Throw to first, and he dives back in safely. At the belt and fires. That one off the mark. One ball, one strike. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Way to lay off that pitch down. Hit in the air, right field. Canario makes the grab. One away. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. And a 1 1. Run around the goal. Ground ball up the middle. And no throw. He's into first easily. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now it's the second baseman, Zach Geloff. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. To short, could be two. To second for one, and that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. And now it's Miguel Amaya. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. That's to third. Sends it to first. One up, one down. And now the rookie second baseman, Miles Mastroboni. Off the mark there. One and oh. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Next offering is in for a strike. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. The swing. Appeal down to third. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. 
So the lineup flips over. And next for the Cubs, Pete Crow Armstrong. First pitch, yep, just misses. Ah. And there's the strike. One and one. Ball to strike. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Got it by him for the K. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And we are still scoreless. Start of the fourth. And here's the first baseman, number 49. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Left-hand batter waits. Just off the outside edge. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. And that's in for a strike. That one inside. And now three balls and a strike. Brent Rooker next to bat for the A's. Kicks and deals. Swings and sends a rocket to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Rooker swings through it for strike one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And it's through for a hit. One down, runner at first. This is J.J. Blade. And first offering is fouled off. Rooker at first, one gone. Slider clips the zone. A swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Lawrence Butler digs in now. He's over one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. He swings and fouls one off. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Another one, two. Next offering misses down and away. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. The A's strand one, and we're still knotted at zero.
back here at Wrigley Field. Now it's the shortstop, Christopher Morell. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Here comes a pitch. Clips the outside corner. One one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Inside, just missed. That's a really good take. Check swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. Two two now. Hammered, and this one could be extra bases. The throw in, in there safely. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. And now, Jamer Candelario popped up. Gellar makes the play, and there's one down. The right fielder, number four, Alexander Canario. Alexander Canario, the next Cub to hit. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. pitch on the ground to the left and it goes just foul little trouble with this one behind the plate and an excellent job keeping it right there the one two two ball two strikes That's a little bit low. Number 40, waiting to hit for the Cubs. And a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And there's ball four. Oh, very close with the location right there. It's just tough to get rewarded on the call with pitches near the top of the strike zone. Two on, one out. Now the left fielder, number 40. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Off the mark there, and that's ball one. a base hit throw comes in quickly holds that go ahead run at third and there's still one away just a clutch at bat right there big time swing when this team really needed it just a cookie down the middle I mean those are the ones you dream about ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game right down the middle not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game now at the plate Patrick Wisdom oh. First pitch, and he just misses. Morell at third. Canario at first. One gone. Strike on the inside corner. And the count even at one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it. This one in the air center field. Makes the catch. Runner tags from third. A big run scores on the sack fly. And it's 1-0.
Oh, this is a big at bat right here. Nice sack fly to give his team the lead in these late innings. So first and second with two outs. Jared Young, the next Cub to hit. First offering misses the mark. And there's a ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, two outs. Pitch misses. Three balls, no strikes. Miguel Amaya on deck for the Cubs. And a four pitch walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Here's the catcher to hit, Miguel Amaya. Grounded out his first time. In there, and it's on one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. 0-2 now. Just oh, off the play. outside part of the plate. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. And here's a slow roller. Now the throw to first on the run. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We played four. It's the Cubs one, and the A's nothing. Here at Wrigley Field, top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Jordan Diaz. And a pitch. There's the strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fought off foul. In the air, left field, and there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Soderstrom in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The one two. Now a fly ball to right center. Crow Armstrong pulls it down and there are two away. The Athletics down to their last out. Nick Allen up next for the A's. Fly to right his first time. That one's in there 0-1. Now oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Two outs. 
Swing and a ball popped up. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cubs hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today.